Welcome to Rio! Good morning and welcome, your Royal Highnesses. We are in Rio de Janeiro at our hotel, La Suite by Dussel. Uh, we had a good night's sleep, didn't we, last night? Yeah, yeah, not oh, bad. Very comfortable bed. Um, you was awake again really, really early, which is a little bit annoying because you are a proper little fidget. I think I woke up UK time. So what we're going to do, we're going to do just one vlog for Rio. We're only here for three nights, which is basically two whole days. Um, our first plan this morning has had to be cancelled. We're going to be having breakfast in the infinity pool served on a floating tray. But as you can probably see behind us, it's not the nicest day. It's not raining, it's very warm. It's about 22 degrees at the moment. Um, but it isn't probably warm enough to have breakfast in the pool, is it? So oh, really? we're going to have normal breakfast. Then we're going to make a plan for the rest of the day. We've got our helicopter flight later on about. 3 p.m., 3.30 p.m. Yeah. Tomorrow we're doing a 10 hour tour, going up Sugarloaf Mountain, going to see Christ the Redeemer, going to see all the city sites. So um, there'll be quite a lot to show you, but we're going to do it all in one vlog rather than two days. So yeah, going to go have some breakfast now. Come and join us for breakfast, our first meal in Rio. <laughs> Where we should have been having breakfast this morning, right here in the infinity pool, looking out on that. David, are you hungry? Yeah, I am. What yeah. have you got? What is this? Papaya? Maybe. And kiwi. Oats with honey and yogurt and cake. Just up there, right in the distance, you can just see Christ the Redeemer. Let's see if I can zoom in for you. Right on top of that little hill, very, very tiny. But we'll get some better images of that for you today from the helicopter, hopefully. So we're currently just sitting, having a little bit of chill out time by the pool. It's not very bright and sunny as we had a hope for our first day, but it's warm. Although you'd never think so looking at this one, sitting here in his hoodie and jeans. Um, but yeah, it's warm. I'm sitting in t-shirt and shorts, so I'm quite warm. Um, but we'd hope for a bit of pool time, a bit of sunbathing. It's a little bit too cold to go in the pool this morning. We did have our breakfast here this morning and that was really, really nice. Um, it was a bit of a feast actually. We got scrambled eggs, um, some cold meats and cheeses. We got some yogurt with granola and honey. Um, some fresh fruit, some papaya, which I've never had fresh like that before. Uh, really nice. Mango, kiwi. Uh, we had some bread rolls, some really lovely pineapple jam. Yeah, there was so much food there. We didn't leave anything. I have to say we ate everything, um, which isn't too uncommon for us. Uh, we are Gannets. But yeah, <laughs> was that funny? <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, having a little restful morning here. We've got our helicopter flight. Um, this afternoon, which I hope goes ahead because I'm really excited for that. I've never been in a helicopter before, so this will be a first for me. And I think a first for you as well. You've not done a helicopter, have you, before? Yeah. Oh, you have? Over Victoria Falls. Oh. But that was 12 years ago. Oh, okay. Oh, well, I'm, I'm a helicopter virgin, David isn't. Um, and, and this one's going to be a lot longer. So we're going to stay here tonight have dinner here we're gonna have some drinks here tonight as well um, and just a bit of a chill day really after travel day it's uh, been really nice so far hopefully we'll take you along for the helicopter ride this afternoon as well really excited about that and then tomorrow in this same video we're going to show you the sights of Rio as well 
Okay, so we've just been for a quick half hour walk just up and down like the road where our hotel is. Um, La Suite by De Sol is in a, it's in a gated community. So everyone says that it's safe around here and stuff. And every property has their own private gate. So um, our one comes with this little fob here. So this is gonna be the first time we try it. So it might not work first time. <laughs> but this is how we get in. So they don't have to let you in all the time. Fabulous big red door. If you have to touch it on the little um Oh on here. That's it. Oh. I was doing the wrong bit. <laughs> and then when you go through the big red door, there's like a small pool here. A little dining area here. And then inside is the reception and where you have lunch. We've got lunch booked for one o'clock, so we've got a little bit of time. Let's have a little look. See if the view's any better now, because that fog does appear to have cleared a little bit since. Okay, so we've just arrived at Rio to fly in Rio. It's about a 30 minute drive from our, where our hotel is, which cost about the equivalent of five pound. So Ubers here are super, super cheap. Um, so they're definitely worth using. Everything on the app works. It all works exactly like the UK. Um, so yeah, we've just arrived here now. So we're going to go for our flight. How do you feel about your flight? I'm a, I'm a bit scared. I'm not going to lie. This was your idea. It was my idea, but I'm a bit scared. Uh, oh, there's a helicopter up there. Look, it's lights on. Oh, look, Heli Rio taxi. And we're going up here to Rio to fly. coming down, isn't it? Okay, we are just back from the most incredible day. I actually feel a little bit emotional just talking about it. It was, um, it was amazing actually, wasn't it? David was adamant that our first view of Rio should be from the air. I've never been in a helicopter before and I was a little bit apprehensive about it and so I was a little bit nervous about it would be an understatement. It was 3,600 Brazilian Real. So 583 um, Great British Pounds um, between the two of us. 
So it's less than £300 each and we have an hour flight. It's all booked via WhatsApp. They're really big on WhatsApp out in Brazil. And we'll talk to you a bit more about that probably in our debrief video. Two really lovely gentlemen checked us in. They were really sweet, weren't they? Both of them were really great. Um, there was no time for nerves really because after we were checked in, um, a golf cart arrived to take us with the bitches in the back. <laughs> <laughs> on the on the pussy wagon and we got taken around uh driven around the compound to the helicopter so, and uh, we was up up and away wasn't we and i have to say you know seeing rio by air for the first time was a really great was really great we had a we had a really cool pilot he was called zan zan he was showing us everything telling us what things were so we saw all the beaches didn't we first of all along the coastline we saw ipanema copacabana um a couple of others a couple of others remember. i can't remember the names um we saw the nudist beach yes <laughs> I didn't know we were going to see that, but yeah. we saw that. We saw the news feature from the air, and let me tell you now, things look even smaller from the air. <laughs> <laughs> so, we saw the nudist beach. Um, then we came round to where we're staying, uh, in Joatinga. Is that how you say it? Joatinga. Joatinga. Uh, and he told us this is a really nice district um, of, of Rio. And he said that um, where we're staying here in Joatinga is like a kind of really exclusive area. And one of the international footballers... Neymar. Neymar. I don't know who he is, by the way. I just know the name by my colleague at work. Neymar has his house here. Uh, and then David explained to him that we were staying here in Joatinga. So we then was able to spot our hotel. And we didn't realise, but it's got a massive heart on the roof. Which is really cute, isn't it? We, yeah. we, we love that. Great, wasn't it? Then we went down to, from there, did we go to Sugarloaf Mountain next? There was obviously a few things on the way, but, but the, the next big the thing. Main, the main thing, Sugarloaf. We saw the longest bridge in South America that runs for yes. 13 kilometers, which yeah. I didn't know. I didn't know about it's that It's quite either. impressive to see that. It's a really weird thing, but we flew right over the top of a container ship that was coming in or going out of Rio. Yes. That, that felt almost a bit James Bond, didn't it, doing that? Yeah, and there's an airport near um, to the harbour, and he did tell us the name of it, but I can't remember the name of the airport that it was. It's not, it's not the international airport where we arrived yesterday. It's the more domestic. More domestic flights. And uh, we watched a, a, a flight go along the runway and take off, which was incredible, wasn't it? Just yeah. to watch it from the air, to watch a plane taking off. And then I was thinking, oh, okay, we're going to turn around now. But oh no, we flew straight across the runway and straight across the airport, which I'm not entirely sure we were supposed to do, but he was talking to our traffic control. So obviously we sure weren't allowed. Was <laughs> but yeah, it was, it was just really bizarre to be flying over an airport, seeing all the jets on the ground. And then he decided to take us for a little bit of a spin. And when I say a spin, we did go on a spin. Yeah. <laughs> and you were getting a little bit nervous, weren't you? It felt like we came down nearly vertical. I'm sure it wasn't. <laughs> but I mean, all you could see was the sea. And then from there, he took us, actually, for a second spin at the football stadium, didn't he, thinking about it? We came down so low, didn't we? We was almost on the pitch. He took us for a, he took us for a circuit round the stadium. About, quite three, about high up. three times, would you say? And then he said... Oh, you want it? Oh, should we go for a closer look? Uh, of course, we were like, oh, yeah, okay. Thinking he's just going to bring it down a few feet. And, I mean, he just dived the thing. Mm -hmm. And I actually thought that we were going to end up inside the inner ring of the the stadium. I mean, yeah. it, it wasn't amazing. It was a bit terrifying, actually. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I could smell the grass. <laughs> yeah, literally. <laughs> yeah, it was great. So that was really cool. And then the piece does resist Yeah, yeah. <laughs> where, where did we go next? Uh, from there, he started climbing, 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 climbing up to Christ the Redeemer. I had no idea it was so high up. Did you? It's, it's insanely high up. It's yeah. insanely high up. Uh, I know we have to get a train up to it tomorrow because it's so high up, but I didn't really appreciate, even in a helicopter, just how high he would have to climb. My ears started to, um, to go a bit funny as well as we got right up there. I know yours didn't, but he then circled Christ the Redeemer, I'd say three or four times for us. So he got some really, really great photos, some really great video footage. No matter how 
I mean, doing all the research and stuff for this trip, and I've seen and I've seen and I've posted and stuff doing countdowns on Insta stories or whatever. So many pictures, professionally photographed pictures of Christ the Redeemer looking out over the bay and Sugarloaf and and mm -hmm. all of that. It's it's not the same when you see it from that helicopter coming around the back. I mean, yeah. I can't describe to you. We just, just the, the whole. We just went very quiet from then. We just went so quiet. It was. It took my breath away. It was absolutely stunning. As we flew around the front of him, there was a cloud forming over the mountain at the back, and behind that, in the sky, the sun started to break through. And oh, Ooh. I don't know. It was. It was just incredible. So yeah. Oh goodness, I've got a couple of tears again. What is wrong with me? <laughs> You're normally no, the quiet. You're normally the Wendy, not me. <laughs> the company we use, Rio to Fly. Uh, we're not sponsored by them. We're not affiliated. We've got no discount for giving you this review. You know, we are just one hundred percent telling you. You know, they were a really, really great company to deal with. They were really efficient, really friendly, and professional. I can't tell you how great this first day has been in terms of doing that and you know, if the rest of this trip is anything like that this is going to be an amazing trip of a lifetime i think it's gonna be a trip of a lifetime anyway but that first day was just so special and i loved every second so thank you so much for, for suggesting that thank and you. getting us to do it it was just brilliant well done if you come to rio do the helicopter tour do if it, you can afford it, it. it you don't have to do the full hour they've got um half hour and they've got uh, other options. I think they've even got a 20 minute as well. If it's not in your budget to be able to do it on your own uh, as a private flight, still do it, but but share that experience with some other people. You might make some friends for life as well. Uh, we're not very friendly, so we might do it on our own. <laughs> <laughs> so as I said to you earlier on, we're gonna do this uh, vlog for Rio de Janeiro um, as one episode. So this is gonna continue, uh, well, in a few minutes actually for you. Um, it's going to continue for us tomorrow. So tomorrow we are going to um, be doing a 10 hour tour of Rio with a guide. Uh, we'll tell you all about that, how much it cost. I don't remember how much it cost. It wasn't super duper expensive, but it includes um, lunch. We're going for a barbecue. It includes our tickets to go um, uh, up the tra on the train up to Christ the Redeemer. And does it include a cable car to Sugarloaf Mountain as well? I'm sure. I think it does as well. We'll be showing you loads tomorrow um, from the ground rather than the air. Um, I hope you've enjoyed today. Uh, obviously, you won't have enjoyed it as much as we have because it has just been been insane. But I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. Before we go on to day two, please ensure you give us a big thumbs up that you've liked this video. If you haven't subscribed, please make sure you press that as well. And we'll be back very, very shortly in different clothes to start day two of this Rio vlog. Do not go anywhere. Good morning, as promised, we are back for our second full day here in Rio. And uh, yeah, we just got up, got washed and showered, sleep right? No. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, he's been awake since about three o'clock, would you say? Yeah. Tossing okay. and turning, fidgeting, waking me up. And what was the reason today? Just a bit excited and thinking about yesterday, thinking about today, thinking about tomorrow. <gasps> wow. We're gonna get an Uber from here at La Suite by Dussel um, to, uh, is it called Hotel Janeiro? Yeah. Which is only about 20 minutes away in an Uber. So we get an Uber there, we might see if we can pick up something to eat while we're there, like a quick croissant or something like that, maybe get a coffee. Because uh, the restaurant here at this hotel doesn't open for breakfast until 8 a.m. So we need to be at Hotel Janeiro for pickup at 8 a.m. So we're trying to grab a quick bite to eat if we can. Um, the highlights of today will be seeing Christ the Redeemer again from the up ground. Yeah. Up close from the ground. Uh, and also um, going across the Sugarloaf Mountain. I think we're going across on a cable car. Um, but again, it's not really that clear on the tour. And again, at the end of the day, we'll tell you all about the prices, the costing, where we recommend it, uh, and whether we think that you should perhaps consider doing it as well. So yeah, come along with us for day two in Rio. <laughs> Breakfast here downstairs, okay, before the travel. 
São que Obrigado, tá filho? Bom dia, bom dia, bom dia. We're uh, um, close to the museum, we're about to go up in the tree. So we are out on our tour, we're on a little mini bus with a lovely guide uh, called Wally. Um, and there's about 16 of us on the tour and we've just arrived at the station to go up to Christ the Redeemer. Now to use the train up you have to book your ticket in advance. You can't generally purchase it on the day we're told but we've been given our ticket, it's all part of our tour. We've got a 9.30 journey up. The train only takes 120 people I believe. It's about half an hour to go up to Christ the Redeemer on the train. Apparently it takes you through a part of the rainforest as well as you go up, he said, to uh, part of the Amazon, not the Amazon, part of the rainforest. So yes, this should be quite, um, quite an interesting little train ride up. Okay, so we have just come up uh, on the train to Christ the Redeemer. It was a bit of a rickety old train, I'm not going to lie to you. As an underground train controller, I would not have run that train myself, I don't think. It was very, very steep, very rickety, very noisy. Uh, but we are now up. When you get off of the train, there's some elevators, some lifts you can walk us there. Uh, and we're now going to face the weather. As you can see, it's very windy, it's very cold and it's raining. Christ the Redeemer is just up there and we're going to go up and have a little look now. So yeah, we're on the GoPro, so please bear with me with the sound quality. The sound is not so great. Uh, but yeah, we're going to go up and have a quick look. Uh, get soaking wet, I think. Uh, are, you up, are you up for getting wet? Yeah, let's just go. Let's just go and do it. Let's go and do it. We're being brave. We're back. May the force be with us. Ah. Oh god, he's running up the stairs. Look at him go. <laughs> We're getting absolutely soaked. This is not fun at all. This is not what I signed up for. <sighs> oh my goodness. As you can see, the weather has changed so suddenly. Just call me action, Dan. Oh dear. The thing this boy gets me doing, eh? Oh dear. <laughs> of course, nothing we ever do goes smoothly, does it? So of course we're in t-shirts and shorts. And it's raining, it's windy, and it's really cold. But we're here, we're at Christ the Redeemer. Let's have a little look at the view down of Rio from up here, shall we? Although I think I prefer doing this in the helicopter, because it's much drier. Yeah, it's very misty. But I'm glad we're up here to see it. It's a really great, great thing to see. Look how magnificent that is. Thank 
Oh no! <laughs> I'm getting absolutely soaked and blown all over the place. Oh my goodness. I think they're heading back down. Where's David gone? Where's he gone? I've lost him. Oh, oh here he comes. I can see him over there. Here he comes. Come on. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. You enjoying that? Let's go. <laughs> Did you enjoy that? Yeah. <laughs> So the escalators take you up to Christ the Redeemer. Look a little bit worse for wear. They're definitely not in service at the moment. So you have to climb the stairs to get up there. Or run up as David did. If you're feeling very energetic or you just want to keep dry. So uh, yeah, the escalators here do not appear to be working. So it's a train to get up. Then there's stairs or a lift and then there would be escalators. Okay, so we saw Christ the Redeemer earlier on. As soon as we got on the train, it started to pour down the rain, didn't it? Yeah. So literally, as soon as we was on that train, it poured down the rain, we got to the top, and we were getting saturated, weren't we? Absolutely typical, it clouded over, it was really misty, it was really wet, it was really cold. Um, but yeah, we managed to go and get some good pictures, get some good sights and views while we were up there. We had a little bit of breakfast, a little coffee, a little bit of, um, what would you call it, like a kind of chocolate pastry? It's like a chocolate croissant, yeah. Really nice. Uh, and now we've just got back on the bus and we've been taken to the football stadium. Now we are not football fans, so this does not mean it much. doesn't mean anything to us. It doesn't mean anything to us at all. So we'll show you, it might mean more to you, um, but we don't really appreciate this so much. <laughs> I'm looking forward to lunch and then Sugarloaf, but yeah. Yeah. Well, this is our tour bus here that we're on today, little mini bus. There was, um, I think, 16 of us, but four people didn't like the rain, so they dropped <laughs> out. So there's only. The weird thing was they didn't like the rain, but they were from the UK. How does that work? Okay, so we're at the Metropolitan Cathedral in the old area. Well, no, in the business area, sorry, of Rio. And it's quite amazing, have a look. David, what do you think of the cathedral? So it's, it's very cool. It's a bit weird though, isn't it? It's, it's I, I don't know. It's stunning, it's not, isn't it's it? It's not like a cathedral. I mean, anything religious at all. Like, I don't know what it would It's just really like. beautiful architecturally, it's architecturally yeah. isn't it? Can't say that word. Put your teeth in. They say pretty much wherever you are in Rio, you can see Christ the Redeemer. And we're finding that's the case, isn't it? Everywhere we're kind of going, you are able to spot him. Yeah, you can. Just where we are now at this cathedral. See him up there in the distance. Quite far away, quite high up, but you can still get a good view. Okay, we just had our lunch at a very, very nice South American barbecue restaurant. It was all buffet food. Help yourself to salads, pastas, breads, so many different options, seafood as well. Um, yeah, that was really nice. Uh, that was included in the tour, so that was really good. We just paid for our drinks, so that was uh, really, really fine. And now we are at Sugarloaf Mountain, about to go up in the cable car to the top. So this is gonna be really exciting. So this is one of the highlights of the trip for me. So I'm really excited for this. When you come to the Sugarloaf cable car, there are four different lines here in A, B, C or D. And it depends on um, where you've bought your tickets from. So if you've got a regular ticket, it's in B. If you have got internet tickets, it's C. And if you're with a tour guide like we are, it's in this line here, D. 
Uh, which is the longest line. I am not sure what A is. Let me have a quick look for you. What A is? A is. Looks like it's for um, people that have got uh, priorities due to being pregnant or disabilities. So A is for disabilities, B is the regular line, C is internet tickets, and then the last line here is for people that are with tour groups or they've got vouchers from TripAdvisor and stuff like that. So yeah, we're in the longest line, unfortunately, but hopefully I'll move quite quickly. We are now in the cable car, about to make our first descent up to Sugarloaf Mountain. I believe we've got to do two different uh, cable cars. We go to the top, then we change and then get onto a second one. That's my understanding, but I'll let you know if that's right when we get up there. And we're off, up, up and away. Wobbly. It's quite a smooth journey up. It's a little bit wobbly though. Mind the gap. Please mind the gap. All good? Yeah. I'm tired. <laughs> why, why are you feeling tired? It's because you're a little bugger and you woke us up at the crack of dawn again. Mm. So we got you. <laughs> <laughs> a new place, a new home For a while, let me feel alive Nothing to hold me back Take my time, just enjoy the ride A new man passing by Life is good, best I've ever felt So we are back at our hotel after a really long day so uh, I've shown you quite a lot in this vlog about what we've done but just a very very quick summary uh, and review about whether we think you should do this if you come here. Our tour today has taken us to um, Christ the Redeemer, the football stadium, uh, the cathedral, Sugarloaf Mountain and we saw some beaches as well as we kind of went about our business today. So uh, saw quite a bit, but actually we spent a long, long time on the tour to see what in effect was actually very little. Um, the tour cost us £117 each. Uh, it's booked through Grey Line, we booked it was in the UK. And I do think it was actually worth that money. It included lunch, um, so we went for a barbecue lunch, which we'll talk about very shortly. But all in all, I think it was worth it. Would I do it again? No, um, definitely not. Would I recommend it to you if you're a first timer coming to Rio, you don't know your way about, you've only got a very short period of time in the city to try and get to go to where, where things are? Yes, I would. I think it's a really great way to go and see the key tourist things. Price to Redeemer, particularly, uh, we got to jump the queue. Uh, it was a train up, as you saw. Uh, and although the weather was bad, we still got to go up and, and see Christ the Redeemer, which was really great. Sugarloaf Mountain, however, um, was really, really slow. Uh, I think we must have waited in the line for maybe maybe even an hour and we were meant to be skipping the line and we didn't skip the line so yeah we had to uh queue up to get on the cable car we went up to the first mountain 
I didn't need change. There was another queue to get on the second one. And yeah, it was really cool to think we've done. But we spent so much time queuing to get up there. And was it worth it? No. Um, well, yes, yes, it was worth it to go and say you've done it. Um, but we got up there. We had some great views of the city. But we had better views yesterday from the helicopter. The traffic in this city, though, is absolutely terrible. Like, we literally sat in traffic for... I would say half the day. The lunch was quite nice. Um, it was a barbecue in a um, restaurant, a steak restaurant. Um, they'd be coming around with kind of skewers of beef and sausage and stuff like that and giving you pieces. It was um, a massive buffet area. So all in all, yes, recommend the tour to you, um, but I probably wouldn't do that again, particularly now I know my way around the town, know where things are. If I was to come back here, uh, which again, I think is unlikely, and there's so many places in the world I wanna see, um, and I've seen the sights here now, so it's unlikely I'd come back to Rio. Um, but if you come here, consider doing the tour, I, I think it's worth the money. I think the lunch was good value for money. There, I mean, there was so much food. There was so, so much food. There was cold meats, there was like, paella, there was about six different types of salad. There were eggs there was potato salad there was sushi um, it was just a bit of a mis mishmash of everything um and then there was the meat as well which came around as extra in terms of the tour it was good the guide was good uh seeing christ the redeemer was you know it was good doing sugar loaf like you've already said dan it was a bit of a slog in the end really with the queuing and everything but I think a lot of this was we we did the helicopter tour yesterday and I think we just had such I mean it's such an incredible thing to do to see Rio it really is and I, I just don't think anything that we done today was ever going to live up to that so if you come to Rio, maybe do the other way round. Do the ground stuff first, then do your helicopter fly. <laughs> because, I don't know, I think you always have that feeling of, oh, today's got to live up to yesterday. And for me, it, it just it didn't. That's not to say I didn't enjoy it. It was still great. And we got the photos and we had the experience. We, you know, you don't get to do the things of going up in the train on the hill and through the jungle and everything on a helicopter. So that's a different experience in itself. And yeah, it did feel like today in the tour, we were spending most of the day just driving, not actually seeing or doing anything. Oh, come on, take, take that little miserable face off. Come on, you enjoyed some of it, come on. No, I did enjoy it, I enjoyed it. Um, You're looking very serious. Like I said, my my advice would be leave your helicopter towards the end of your stay in Rio and maybe the first day, get out, see the city, get a feel for the city as well. Because that's one thing that driving around did give you. It gave you a perspective on where things are, the distances. A 10 hour tour was long, wasn't it? Maybe, yeah, but these tours are. Our tour guide, Wally, he was really great there, wasn't he? Yeah, he was really good. Great English, uh, funny, really good sense of humour, uh, good stories. Yeah, he he was good. He yeah, was very good. Really good. Did you enjoy the second day in Rio? Yeah, I loved it. I'm so glad that we did everything. We got to see everything um, here. But yeah, I feel like it's, we saw we saw what we wanted to see, and now it's time to to move on to the next stop. Tick. <laughs> So that is our second day in Rio complete. Uh, tomorrow morning we are going to get up quite early. We're going to pack. I'm going to head to the airport. So there won't be too much to show you tomorrow morning. Um, but we will just pop back on and give you our final thoughts about this fabulous resort, La Suite by Dussel. Um, the highlight of that, sorry, the headline of that even is going to be but we love this place. But we're going to tell you a little bit about that tomorrow. And then that will conclude our Rio vlog. We'll sign that off and answer any questions you've got about it that you can whack in the comments down. We'll answer any questions for you. 
and then the next block in this series is going to be for Iguazu and we've got loads planned there so we're staying at Iguazu we're staying at the Sanmar Hotel by Nubile or Nobile uh, we are going to be doing a tour to go and see the falls from both sides from the Brazilian side and the Argentinian side we've got a boat trip planned and David is trying to persuade me that we'll do a helicopter fly as well when we arrive so that may or may not happen so loads to show you in, uh, in Igor Zoo in the next episode but we'll finish this one off tomorrow so good night for now and we'll see you in different clothes in a couple of seconds good morning as i said we would just check back in with you this morning before we fly to iguazu just to finish off we checked out of our hotel in rio uh last week by dustal this morning that was quite sad wasn't it lee saying goodbye uh we had an absolutely fantastic time there the staff there particularly made the trip they were all so so lovely we had a really really great time we're now at the airport we're going to fly to iguazu uh, and this vlog is going to end here um, so we're going to say goodbye to you uh, for now and uh, we'll be back with you um, next week for another episode which will be the Equal Zoo episode so make sure you join us there uh, as soon as we get to the hotel in Equal Zoo we'll just film an intro and then we'll get out and about and show you what we're up to what are we going to say now? thank you for watching I hope you've enjoyed this vlog if you have liked it give it a thumbs up thumbs up Please show your subscribe by a little notification bell clicked so when our videos come out and as always remember never grow up never grow up